The January transfer window is going to open tomorrow, don't ask me why it's opening on the 2nd. And based off the fact that we drew all 6 games we played in December, we could really use some fresh legs. Hello guys and welcome back to the 52nd episode of the FM21 Salford City Save where today we are facing Middlesbrough away from home in the league and then we are facing Rochdale in the first, well not the third round but the first round for us of the FA Cup at home. So hopefully we can get a cup run going this year but I think the more important thing, the thing that I'm probably plastering all over the title and thumbnail is that the January transfer window is open. We've got some players coming in that have already been over, but obviously considering the fact that the window's not actually open yet, they haven't come in just yet. So Patrick Kennedy is one of them, just to refresh you on him, and then Prince Ward, the other player that will be coming in very shortly. I think they're both solid signings, and hopefully they can go far at this club, but for now, we can't make any signings, we can't make any sales, we've got to focus on the game at hand, and that game is a crucial one. Since last time, we have drawn every single game. Some of them good draws, like uh, like like these away games, I can live with drawing them. Even the West Brom one, I can live with it. But when you, when you, yeah, when you look at a whole month of draws, it is a bit depressing. We're on a 10 game unbeaten run, and I think it's it doesn't feel like it. It, I can tell you that much for free. We've won two games in a 10-game unbeaten run. We are still up in ninth place, though. So, we're completely still in the race for playoff football, but we need to stop drawing games, man. But, although, Reading have drawn the exact same amount of games as us, so at least we're not the only ones having weird drawing problems. But we need to focus on winning. Let's get ourselves in that mentality for this game. We are currently on the balance mentality, and I've got this tactic in my back pocket just in case we need to switch to it. But for now, this is what we're rolling with. We've got Gasama, Edge Hill playing now on that left hand side. I've been trying to train him there for years. I think it makes more sense to him as a player, and based off his stats, I think it definitely suits him better than any other position on the field. So playing him as an inside forward on attacking duty makes sense to me. Fed out on the right, Poigmel, Hunt, Williams, Adar, Bolger, Brian, Colson, and much. Hopefully we can start scoring goals because we haven't scored a single goal in the last three games, which is actually very surprising considering the fact that we have a really, really good striker in the form of Gasama. But hey, I, I'm, I'm no tactical genius, even though I think like five in my videos are called tactical genius but we'll roll with it if you guys are enjoying this series so far please make sure that you like this video can we please get six likes for the january transfer subscribe if you're new around here and we have our first opportunity of the game so we need to refocus our attention i've collected it i'm considering turning off long throws like really considering it because i swear every time i never think we're going to score from them like i don't get excited when i see a long throw i'm just like the goalkeeper's going to catch it and then they're going to have a chance but right now it's looking like it is our chance but Gasama's shot gets well saved. And that would have been nice to get ourselves, you know, just putting the ball into the back of the net. Because that's kind of crucial when winning football games. Adar on the ball. Looking to regroup, but the chance ends. And we've had two shots to their zero. So early on, um, I'm seeing utter domination. And hopefully it continues. Oh, now it's less dominating. As they, oh, no, they've got two shots now. Mate, I think we need to score early on. Because we were dominating before. But we do have another opportunity now. We give it away. Queener, a very good player in the Watford mode last year. I remember. Oh, and Williams. Williams, Williams, Williams. That's so clumsy. It's it's not even clumsy. It's just dumb. He's past you. Come on. Much. Be a hero. He can't be a hero. Obafemi puts the ball into the back of the net. The player that we were trying to sign. He's only scored two goals this season. Gosh, I would have loved to have had him at our club. And I'm already thinking maybe a switch to the tactic that we have in our back pocket might be a good idea for oh no i love long throws oh that, who was saying that they didn't like throws that, that wasn't me i love long throws i want them on all the time what are the odds of that of course after i talk about how i want to get rid of them we score one and now i'm probably not and never going to get rid of them poigmel heads the ball into the back of the net for his first goal of the season and we're back on level terms they have a corner now though and it goes wide and i was actually very concerned there but at least we're still on level terms. 40 minutes almost gone, and we have another opportunity. Hunt on the ball, playing it into Schwed, moving it forward into Edge Hill. Oh, he's in the inside forward roll. 
I thought that was going to trick a win somehow. And, and, and you're telling me that's a chance? Okay. Let me explain it to you. If it was never going to go into the back of the net, it doesn't really count as a chance. I don't think that one was ever going in, so I don't really think it should count as a chance. Bulger, around that right-hand side, not where he would be used to being, but luckily we have gone the ball. Oh, no, I think this is going to be a counter-attack, isn't it? Obafemi into Kennedy. Bulger's way out of the position. Hopefully he's found his way back in, but Obafemi gets a shot. It's blocked. And, oh, gosh. Okay, how many opportunities can there be in one half? Gasama. Almost getting to the ball there, but they get it in. I think it's going to be another counter-attack. They have so much space on that left-hand side. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but much makes a good save. And then Brian's there to clear it long. Okay. Yeah, counter-attacks are getting us right now. This side is counter-attacking like there's no tomorrow. I don't know why they would counter-attack like there's no tomorrow. I don't know why anyone would think, if there's no tomorrow, I want to counter-attack. It's, it's just a phrase. It's just a phrase. I shouldn't be reading into it too much. Right, not happy with the performance out there, but I feel like this is a good opportunity to give the new tactic a crack. Let's do it. Okay, I might regret it, but we're going with it either way. Schwed's going to move into that role as a shadow striker. Yep, and Gasama's there, Ichil there. Yeah, let's give it a try. We're staying on positive mentality. Our usual tactic, although... Although... Although, might turn off you use tighter marking because they seem to be getting in behind because their players are pacier than us because we're using tighter marking. Shved should have actually come off. I'm going to make that substitution now because he is way too tired to play out the rest of the game. Bon Giovanni's coming on for him and hopefully we can give ourselves some opportunities in the second half with this new tactic. I've never used it before. This is experimental stuff on camera. I'm just happy that we scored today to be honest but it would be nice to actually get more than one point for once. Bon Giovanni coming on for Shred. They're recommending it, mate. I'm one step ahead of you. Can you not see what's going on on the pitch on the sideline? I imagine he was having a wee run around, getting fit, getting ready. And I think I'm going to make my second substitution already. Craig's coming on for Hunt. He can do a good job in that position. Can we see some opportunities for us? I don't know if our shots have gone up at all, but we do have a chance right now. Poigma. Playing it back to Colson. We're not as wide as we normally would have been. But Edge Hill still finds the ball. Gasama can't find the back of the net. Oh, that was a chance. That was a chance and a half. That was an absolute chance of an, and a half. But we haven't scored it. And they have an opportunity now. But they clear it long. We collect it. Bryant on the ball. Moving it forward. Hopefully. No, he moved it backwards. He, he, yeah, okay. It's, it's, it, to be fair to me, I said he's moving it forward before he moved it forward. But I thought... It was likely that he was going to move it forward because it was either no one or the goalkeeper. So, I don't know. I thought he was going to clear it long, just like he's done there. Edge Hill's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. No, no. I thought that was the absolute cheekiest goal of all time. But their players come at the end and <laughs> cleared it off the line. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I hope that was going on target. Otherwise, I'm going to look like it. And even more of an idiot than I already do feel like. Davis on the ball. I think that's the man that cleared it off the line. They clear it and we get the ball back. Poigmel. This new tactic seems to be working well. I don't know if it's just this one game. But I, I quite like it. Adar into Bulger. Back into Bon Giovanni who's seeming to play all right at the moment. A great ball in for Edge Hill. And he scores. Boys and girls. Edge, Edge Hill is a striker. I've been playing him out as a winger for years. But apparently... When you stick him up top, he's going to score goals. It's only his second of the year. He's gone one goal and one assist. And he's basically our star man. What a ball from Bon Giovanni. And a great finish from Edge Hill. And hopefully that gives him enough confidence to start banging them into the back of the net. And we're going to move back down to a balanced mentality. I think I got rid of one of our chances. That, that, that really upsets me. But Nati's going to come on for Bulger. And that's going to be the last thing that I do. Hands off. You can't see me. Because I don't have a camera, but I'm, I'm holding my hands up to say, hands off. Can we get this win? Can we get this bread? And, okay, there's one more chance. I think it's ours, though. I think it's going to be ours. I'm, I'm confident it's going to be ours. If I say that enough, surely it will happen. It's going to be theirs. It's going to be theirs. No, okay, not like this. Not like this. We've just drawn six games in a row. Don't make it seven. We've cleared it. Bon Giovanni onto it. No. I thought it was going to be our chance. Don't, don't. Not like this. Not here. Not now. In the mixer. It's gone over the bar. Okay, we. Are, it, it's literally four minutes. Of, we've done it. We've won a game. And we've scored two goals in it. 
Oh, I don't know how deserved it was. But to be fair, if you take away the penalty, the XG is really pretty similar to ours. Well, how long has that gone? Uh, no, it would have been lower than ours, I'm pretty sure. That's gone from... I don't know, there's so much maths involved here. But I think, excluding the penalty, we have a better XG than them. So I think we deserve the win there. I'm just saying. Just saying. Edgehill getting the ball into the back of the net. Bon Giovanni coming on with an assist. And who else? Poig Mal getting his first goal of the season. Don't mind that at all. Damn it. I really wanted this guy. He was going to come in on trial. I'm upset about that. And the transfer window is about to open. So you know what? I'm actually going to simulate forward with you guys so that we can see the signing of the two players that we brought in. Oh, also, this guy. He's, isn't he like a former wonder kid? I'm considering getting him, even though his star rating doesn't show the best play. Oh, his stats aren't great, though. I'm, I'm still thinking about it, though. He's on, he's on the short list. He's on the short list. I don't know. Something about him being a former wonder kid makes me think, maybe, maybe he could be good. Kennedy and Ward, we want you in the club. Come on, let's get the simulation going. Are they coming in straight away? It's it's the day. It's the day. I'm sure I'm sure they've been training with the club for some time. Let's get it in. Let's get it. Okay, I have to simulate forward another day. This is just too much Raxo simulating stuff going on right now. I'm not I'm not a fan of it. I'm sure you're not a fan of it. Can we get this into the club? Yes, we've done it. Kennedy. B minus, don't mind that. He's a three star current ability with a five star potential. I think there's a wonderful signing. Very pricey, I will admit. I will admit, yeah, he, he wasn't cheap, and he's probably about as good as Shipley. So I'll actually do the comparison. Shipley in comparison to Kennedy. Kennedy is better in attacking. So, yeah, Shipley was... How much was Shipley? Shipley was only 300, 300k. To be fair, Shipley only has four and a half star potential. So, in my, in my opinion, I've made a wonderful sign in there. Kennedy, gosh, I thought you were going to be better. Prince Ward as well, coming in. He's going to be a winger in my books. Definitely not a striker. No offense, but you can't be a striker with six finishing. It's just not the way it works. So I'm going to straight away start training him as a inside forward. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that makes sense. And hopefully you can actually get some shooting up. It's uh, it's kind of crucial as an info. Like, how is he not? No, uh, why is he not in the first team, man? He's better than half of our players. According to star rating, gosh, of course I want him. In, in, okay, I've just moved him to the first team. Gosh, okay, Prince Ward. Here we go. Let's go. Training. First team. He's in the first team. There we go. There we go. We okay, can work on his shooting. Sounds good. All right, done and dusted. Well. I was, it's not done and dusted. I was going to say you guys get a break from me, but you just don't. You know, I do the editing thing and I come straight back, so I'm, I'm sorry. I, I am sorry. Sorry again. It's FA Cup time and we're ready to go. We haven't made any other signings, but we're working on some stuff and we're potentially getting some deals for loans for players as well, but you'll have to make sure that you watch next episode so you can actually find out what's going on. That is some serious high quality youtube stuff from me there you know saying come back next time and find out gosh so good proud of myself for that this is the team that we're going with for the fa cup tie slightly rotated but not too rotated at all we've got Edgehill, gasama bon giovanni poigmel craig scowan colson kennedy nati de silva and Kelleher in between the sticks debut for kennedy so hopefully he is a good game good day at the office and a clean sheet, that would be nice. We're going to give him the number five jersey. It's a big call for me there. But I think he will grow into it and be one of our best centre backs. Hopefully. I paid a lot of money for him. So I'm more hopeful than anything else. But to be fair, I paid a lot more money for Perry. And he's, he's been all right. He's, he's just... He's, yeah, he's, he's... He was expensive, let's just say that. Let's leave it at that. Let's, let's not bring up old old news, old news. Okay, early on in the game, nothing seems to be happening, but we do have two shots, and I'm hoping that this new tactic makes us play better. It makes us score goals, because that, that's kind of been our problem lately, but, you know, it's, it's, it's the draws that have been getting me. But at least we won last game, that's a step in the right direction, and if we win again today, it's an even bigger step in the right direction, and hopefully we can get on a bit of, a, bit of a cup run. 
We didn't get it pa- get past the third round last year, so I hope to be able to do that at least this year. But we'll see what happens now as Poig Mouth scores his second goal of the season. Now it looks like this new tactic seems to be doing quite well at the moment, if I do say so myself. Edge Hill with an assist, Poig Mouth with the goal. Two players that have been finding it really hard to find form for this season. I'm happy that they're linking up, it's getting goal contributions and making us 1-0 up on the scoreline. Hopefully we can get some more of those because... I don't know. Is Rochdale good? I think they're in the league. They're definitely in the league one. So can't be insane if they're a whole league below us. Pogma whipping in a good ball there, and Kennedy scores on his debut. He's already repaid that one point five million pounds. What a way to mark your debut! And I am happy that I gave him the number five jersey because I think he deserves it after that. Gosh, brilliant header! How tall's the man? I think he is quite tall actually. Can't check. Have to check in a bit. Great header. And Poigma with an assist and a goal now today. Happy that I decided to keep him on. And I don't even time to check the height of Kennedy because we're in with another opportunity now. Poigma into Bon Giovanni. Back to Colton. Into De Silva. De Silva to whip a ball. And Bon Giovanni's there. Hits it into the back of the net. And all of the players that haven't been playing well this season are coming up with big time assists, goals. And I feel like this is going to be a very comfortable result. Right now, we are scoring for fun. And that is something... I haven't been able to say for quite some time, which is exactly what we need going into the halfway stage of the season. Exactly what we need, like literally exactly what we need. Now I can check. How tall is he? He is... Can't, can't check. Uh, Kennedy, can I, can I just hover over him and find... No, I have to click on him. Ah, gosh. The things I do. He is 5'11". So, for some reason I thought he was like 6'4", but that's just... My mind going places and uh yeah no but maybe wishful thinking i guess you could call it 40 minutes gone almost half time now and i'm pretty happy with the way that we've played our xg is only 1.23 which isn't insane but clearly we're doing well on the pitch as well as statistically so that's what we need i'm happy with the performance out there i almost said I'm far from pleased with the performance i'm just used to saying that to be honest so it's force of habit at this point i'm gonna bring Volga on. Who can play in that left back position though? Kennedy can't. I think Nati can though. I'm pretty certain Nati can. He, yeah, he can. Yeah. Let's give him a crack. Give him some game time out there. I mean, I imagine he's not thrilled with the position he's being thrown into, but he can harden up. It's better to be on the pitch in a position that you don't like than to not be on the pitch at all. So harden up. Get off your high horse. And hopefully we can great create some more opportunities, score some more, more goals. Porgmel. Already got an assist today. Almost gets another one. There is Bon Giovanni. Who's offside? Sorry. Sorry. Clearly someone in front of the shot. But, mate, you're not stopping that no matter what. Brilliant hit. But there are two players directly in the eye line of the goalkeeper. So I can I can understand that one. But what a hit from Bon Giovanni. I am definitely tempted to keep him in the squad if he keeps playing like this in that shadow striker role. I should be making my second substitution of the day. And Romero is going to be the man to come on. And you know what? Let's go all out. Let's make our final substitution in the form of Ollie Shaw or Daniel Perry. Daniel Perry. He can come in and we'll have to play with an advance forward and be a, a trequiesta. Yep. That's a fancy word. Hopefully it works. I think that's the role that Aubameyang plays for. Um, Arsenal where you play striker. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I, I think I've heard that through the grapevine. Five minutes ago in this game, I don't even care that we haven't scored a goal. Well, technically we have scored a goal, but not an official goal. And a 3-0 win is a pretty tidy result, especially against a side in the league below us. Yeah, pretty proud of that. Good win, boys. Hopefully we can get an easy side in the next round of the FA Cup. I think we've already accomplished what the board want us to do if we go to club vision. The board only wanted us to get into the fourth round. So we're doing well. We're doing well. Kennedy scores on his first game for the club. Poigmel on form. And that's a good way to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. Make sure that you don't miss the next video, which will be a transfer special. Hopefully we bring in some faces. Hopefully we sell some not so great faces. I think Betty is the only player that I'm really trying to get rid of uh, in the sales. But everyone else I'm kind of trying to get out online. So hopefully we can get those deals done. Hopefully you'll be back for the next episode. And I will see you all later.